Hey guys, my name's Ed, and welcome to lesson 4 of my How to Program in PHP web series. Today we're going to be working with loops. Uh, if you haven't, I highly recommend watching my previous videos, especially the one before this where we work with arrays, because this video is going to build on top of those concepts. So that's about it, let's get started. Alright, so today we're talking about loops. So if you're new to programming or PHP, and you don't know what loops are, uh, a loop is something that um, basically allows you to execute all the code in that loop over and over and over again until a certain condition is met. So um, we'll start with the most basic loop in any programming language, and that would be the while loop. And uh, it looks like this. It's the keyword while and space. You don't have to put the space. I like to just to make it easier to read. And then brackets. So... While a condition is true within these parentheses, everything in these brackets will execute over and over again until that condition is met or not true. So to demonstrate this, I will make a variable called i for incrementer and I'll assign it a default value of zero. And in here, I'm gonna put my conditions for this loop to execute. So let's say I want to display the numbers zero through five on the screen. Uh, I will put while well, i is less than equal to 5. Now, inside of this loop, I am going to use a little shorthand thing in PHP that allows you to either um, add or subtract a value of 1 to an integer, in which case it's 2 plus signs and then the value of i. And above that, I'm going to put echo i with the break tags because we're we're doing websites and we want to format it nice otherwise they'll display in a straight line when i refresh this we'll see our numbers zero through five so um what's happening here is that um this loop is going to execute every time until this variable i is less than or equal to five in which case it's five it will um, stop executing. Uh, once it becomes 6, the condition is no longer met in here, and then this loop won't execute anymore. Now, um, similar to incrementing, we can also uh, decrement a, a loop if that's the right word to use. So let's say I wanted to count down from 5 to 0. I could change this to 5 and make this uh, more than equals to 0, and change this from a double plus sign operator to negatives. This time, each time this loop executes, it will um, subtract one from this. This code is the same as writing this out, i equals i minus one. So this is a safe bet in any language. You can make the variable assigned to equal to itself minus one or plus one. But in PHP, you have these uh, double minus or double plus operators, which saves you time from writing extra code. And if I refresh that, there it is. It counts down from 5 to 0. And uh, yeah, that's your basic while loop. Okay, the next loop I want to demonstrate is the infamous for loop. So to do this in PHP, all you do is use the keyword for, and then you have a set of parentheses. This one's a little more complicated because there's... Um, three conditions that can be entered in here. So the first one is your incrementer variable, in which case i will make this zero. And then our condition, similar to the while loop, while i is less than equal to 10, we'll make it 10 this time. And then our last um, parameter here is what we want to do with our incrementer, in which case uh, we want to increase it until it gets to 10. So we'll do plus plus and i and that's it now if i echo display this on the screen i'm gonna comment this one out there it is it goes from zero to ten so basically the same thing as the while loop but um this you have a little more um flexibility with and control over uh for some people they like to they think that it makes the code look a little cleaner. But uh, ultimately, you have the same result here. You're starting from zero, and uh, 
as long as that condition of i being less than or equal to 10 uh, is not met, it will keep uh, looping until that condition is met or it passes up 10. And similar to what we did up here, we can also uh, decrease this. So I could start this from 10, being more than equal to zero, and decrement that variable this time. And now it will count from 10 to zero. And that is your basic for loop. So the last loop I want to give an example of today is the for each loop. Uh, the for each is a little newer in a lot of programming languages. It's still been out for a while, but um, it's a newer concept than uh, like the while and the for loop. And uh, to demonstrate this, it would be best to use uh, an array. So uh, if you don't know how to do these, watch my previous video. I'm going to make another array here, same as last time, called video games. And put some games in here. So Halo 2, Counter-Strike, and Overwatch. Now, let's say I want to display these one at a time without having to uh, hard code them like this, like Echo Video Games, 0, uh, this will work, but obviously that's a, a pain in the ass to write something like that. And let's say you had a huge database full of video games with like 2,000 games and you had them into an array, uh, you wouldn't want to have to write all these out. So that's where the loop comes in and makes this easy. So we could use a for each. And the way it works is like this. We type the word for each. And then we'll put our first condition um, or parameter rather as our array in which case it's video games and then as we're going to put the keyword as and then game so the way this works is that every time this loops it's going to loop through each item in here so it'll go from halo 2 at index 0 counter strike at index 1 and overwatch at index 3 and uh, each time it meets one of those the variable game here after the as statement is going to represent the item in that array where it's at right now. So to demonstrate this, um, if I put echo game and then a break tag here, comment this one out. Now, there's our games, Halo 2, Counter-Strike, and Overwatch. So um, as you can see, as I was just explaining, um, this game variable represents the current object in that array or element so um, what's nice about the for each statement is that I do not have to use a um, index to access the vid items in this video games array so uh, the for each statement is kind of a nice and quick way to do this uh, without having to write extra code and now um, with arrays you can also access them with the for or while loop so uh, to demonstrate that um, you'll need to get the size of the array first. So array size. Um, to do that, you use the function called count in PHP. And then just pass the array that you want to get the size of into here. And then we'll do four, same as what we did before. But now we're going to do i is less than array size. And then our incrementer. And then we're going to do echo video games i. And I'm going to comment this one out just so. And there it is. It displayed each one of our games. And uh, I typed that super fast. So to explain what's going on here, it's the same as the for loop. But our condition for the size here is the size of our array. The count is going to tell how many items are in this video games array. So in this case, we have three items in here. And um, as long as that uh, condition is less than the array size, it will keep looping and displaying the names until it's met. And notice I didn't make this less than equals to. Um, that's because arrays start at index 0. And uh, the size of this is actually 3. So... Um, we don't want to display this if it's equal to 4 because then it's going to try to 
access an item which isn't actually in the array, if that makes sense. Um, so that concept gets a little um, complicated and hard to remember, but as you write code more and more, it'll make more sense and become second nature to you. But yeah, again, we're just sticking to the bounds of the array. So array size isn't going, it's going to be three and we're accessing item zero, one, and two. So uh, <laughs> hopefully that makes some basic sense of how that works and how to access those items inside of an array. Okay, to wrap this video up, one last concept is gonna be um, using indexes with a for each statement. Uh, this is really advanced and not something you have to memorize now, but I wanna kinda talk about it a little anyway. So in my previous um, video on arrays, I demonstrated that you could create your own indexes inside of an array. So let's say I made an array a game as an array, and I set my own indexes to this, like title equals Kerbal Space Program, and game price equals $29.99, game, put description. video game as a space flight simulator okay so um, I'll do this but I'll create another oh actually that's good enough for now <laughs> now in the for each um, the first way for each could work is how we did I demonstrated up here with the uh, video games as the first variable and then as a game which represents each item um, in that array as it loops through the array. Uh, the other way you could do this is to have control over the index and value of that array. Uh, to demonstrate that, I will put for game and then as key uh, with an equal sign arrow and then value. <laughs> so this is confusing, but uh, what this is gonna let you do is access the key and value of these array items. So if I do echo uh, key and then put a break tag after that, I'll comment out this old code up here, demonstrate how this works. I'll see title, price, and description. So using this, I can uh, access and display the names of the keys in here. Uh, for up here, it would be the numbers. It would be 0, 1, and 2, because I just created an old-fashioned array uh, with automatically generated indexes. If I have ones that are predefined like this, and I needed that name of that index for something, this is the way that you could access that. And um, beside the key, what else you can access here is the value. In which case, it'll be Kerbal and the price and the description. So, um, an advanced concept, and you might be thinking, well, what am I going to use that for? Well, when you get into, like, databases and things, this is something you will have a, a need for. Uh, or if you need to access or manipulate arrays a certain way, um, this is something that you're going to want to know how to do. And the for each statement lets you do that. It lets you access the names of those keys that you otherwise might not know what they are. So, uh, yeah, just... Um, just something to make a note of and try to remember that it's um, one of the functionalities of PHP and how it handles arrays. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this lesson. So again, we learned how to do loops, the while loop, the for loop, the for each, um, some advanced functions for accessing the values and indexes in those. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, if you find these videos helpful, please like, subscribe, comment on here. Uh, let me know if you have ideas for other videos as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.